tuning in. Today we are doing a mukbang, or a mukbang, I don't know what to call it, but we're just gonna be eating. And I asked you guys on TikTok and on Instagram for some questions, and we're gonna do a little QA while we eat. So we went to a bunch of different places. We have gone to Grilled, we went to Subway. So what have we got? You've got, what did you get? Parmi. Parmi sub. Parmi sub. Um, I got a chipotle quesadilla. And then we got a heap of cookies. Some little KFC chips. Because you know what? I don't have a big stomach. I will probably eat about half of one burger and I'll say I'm full. So, you know, I tried to not go overboard. But I do have a trick. I have a, I have my best kept secret involves these KFC chips, so we'll get to that. From Grilled, I got the Bird and Brie burger, but um, take the bird off, because I'm a vegetarian. And then I add on charred pineapple. Mm. Oh, and take the lettuce off too, because who needs that? And then you also add on the grilled chips. So we've got grilled chips as well as the KFC chips. And then we went to Macca's and got an apple pie and a mixed slurry. And then also from KFC, I got the Raspberry freeze, and I think that's everything. Okay, the KFC chip trick, secret, the only way to eat them these days. We came across this just recently and it is a banger. So, pop them in a bowl, then grab your Master Foods shaker fries seasoning, sriracha, so how you say it? Sriracha salt flavor, and shake them on. Boom skis, not too much because it's really hot. And I don't usually do well with um, spices, but you know, here we are. And then grab the mild peri peri mayo, perine, it's from Nando's. But you can get it from like bullet knuckles. And then just smother it. Ta da! The burger's mm. already a bit cold because it was the first thing we got. So I'll probably have to heat it up before I start eating anyway. Oh! I put too much salt on. That is spicy. <laughs> Reese is just joining for the time being. Once he finishes his um, sub, he'll head off. He's been watching the... What is it? The Crew Dragon? The Space Launch. Space Launch. They <coughs> He woke up at like 5.20 or something in the morning and um, watched it live. Mm -hmm. So, some of the questions, well, some were really basic questions and then some were pretty good. Where in Australia <coughs> are you from? From Queensland. Did you do dance as a child? I did, but then I, I once had a tantrum when I was about five or six years old. I never used to go on stage. I'd make it up to the performance and then I'd be like, nah, I am way too scared, I can't get on stage. And then sometimes I did perform, but there, <clears throat> I definitely remember one moment where it was like the end of year concert or something and I just couldn't get out on stage. And then um, I remember having a, a dance class or something and there was some other girl called Katrina in my class. And I thought that they were saying, me, Katrina, like I was supposed to be standing in the front line and they actually met this other girl, Katrina, and I went and stood in that place and then the other Katrina was like, you're in my spot and I was like, nah, -uh. and then I had a tantrum and was like, you know what, I'm out, I don't want to be here anymore, I don't like dancing. And then when I was eight, I got into musical theatre and my mum was like, are you sure you're not going to quit? And I was like, nah, -uh. this is different. I loved it ever since and I love dancing, so... Yeah, that's that's my dancing story. Would I ever dye my hair and what colour would you do? I've dyed my hair a lot. I've always wanted to dye it red like Ariana Grande when it was like that dark red when she was on Victorious, like towards the end of Victorious. I always thought that was so pretty. I bought the hair colour and my mum said no way in hair. Yeah, I've always wanted to, but I, I've never been able to do that. She said that I have too much pink in my face. But I've put on red wigs since, and I think it really suits me, so maybe one day. And also, I'm in the midst of wanting to go back blonde again. Like, at least just like a caramelly blonde or something, not like platinum or anything. I have been really light blonde in the past, but I don't know. I like experimenting with different hair colours, but 
Being brown is natural and it is cheaper. <coughs> How did you meet your boyfriend? Also, I love you so much. Oh, thank you. How did we meet, Reese? Tell the story. We met at a rooftop bar. He was with his friend, I was with my friend. And then she was like, oh my God, these guys are the funniest guys ever. We have to hang out with them all night. And to be honest, when they all rocked up, I thought they looked a bit dorky. <laughs> and anyway, they all ended up being really nice guys. And um, yeah, and then I just got talking with Reese. And yeah. We just didn't stop hanging out ever since. Oh, I did go on a cruise like a few days after we met and I remember Snapchatting you and I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna have any Wi-Fi. Like I hope that he likes me still by the end of the week. And then I ended up seeing you on the day that I came back mm. and we um, we went to Macklemore's concert because someone that I was on the cruise with was like, I'm not going to the concert anymore, I've got tickets. And then my dad was like, I'll give them to Katrina. So. He bought the tickets for me and I was like, oh, I don't even know if I'm, I have no one to go with. I don't know. And then I asked you and you were like, yeah, I'll go. And I was like, oh my God. Okay. He's still into me. Cool. And we I went. remember when you were like leaving the, the dock or whatever mm. on the cruise ship. Yeah, let's cut this. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good I was trying so hard to keep it in. <laughs> yeah, as you were leaving the... As you were leaving the dock or the bay or whatever, mm. like sailing away, and like the Wi-Fi was getting worse and worse, I'm pretty sure I sent a Snapchat or something, and then you didn't reply, and I was just like, oh. "That's yeah, it." Now we wait. <laughs> we had a great night at Macklemore, and then yeah, rest was history. We just kept going on little dates and stuff, and we lived really close to each other, so yeah, and we had some mutual friends that we didn't realize. We realized that we had actually been at a few different events and stuff and never known each other. Or like, you kind of knew who I was, mm. but I, I'd i never even seen you before the day that we met. <laughs> I don't remember, because we actually were at the same 21st birthday party two days before we met. And also, and like, some, like I saw all your friends and stuff, but I didn't, I just don't remember seeing you. I wasn't meant to know you then. And then we even, even a smaller group of us from that party went to our local club, I guess. And um, Reese was part of that group and so was I. And I still don't remember him being there. But I'm sorry. <laughs> if you could be any role on Broadway besides Regina George, who would you be? Literally anyone in Mean Girls. Elle Woods in Legally Blonde, even though it's not on Broadway anymore. What else is on Broadway? I think I would have fun being Dawn mm. in Waitress. I mean, that's also off Broadway now. What else is on at the moment? Nothing. <laughs> Touche. Nothing is on because of. You're gonna have to do so many zooms in my face because I keep looking at the camera. <laughs> it's like you're in an episode of The Office. Mm hmm. Oh, Hamilton. Oh my God, I want to be Peggy slash Mariah Reynolds. That's because I love her, her, um, her song. Peggy's in like, does Peggy have a song? She doesn't have her own song. No, but Mariah does. You know, if you're Peggy, you'll stay. Say no to this. Oh. I love that. And then she doubles as Peggy. Right, I guess so. It's the same girl. <clears throat> It's just in Act 1 she's Peggy, Act 2 she's Mariah. Mm. Just back to Mean Girls, I'd love to be Karen, I think. As much as I love Regina, I don't think I am entirely her. I don't think I have her fire, you know? As much as I want to have it, I don't think I have it. I think I'm more of a Karen. I think I'm more the one on the side. Burger time, I'm gonna get lip gloss all over my chin because does that not happen to everyone? Does it not happen to you? Oh, cut that. Next question. Any baby names you like? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I don't want to share the ones that 
we might use one day. So I don't want anyone to steal my ideas because I'm petty. But one name that I do really like and really want to use but Reese just will not allow it. The name is Fallon for a girl and I love it but Reese won't allow it because one of his best mates, his last name is Fallon. So he just doesn't want it to seem like we've <laughs> named our child after him. <laughs> no, but like, I love it, but... Where did it even come from? Dynasty. No. The, the show. It's so fierce. I love it. Fallon. Like, oh, what a queen, you know? But you just won't allow it, so... <laughs> How do you get TikTok famous? I don't exactly consider myself TikTok famous. Like, to go viral, I've got a whole video on a little hack. So I'll, I'll pop that up above here. But if you want to be TikTok famous, you just need to make sure that you are creating engaging content that people want to comment on and save and share with their friends and, you know, things that are going to entertain them or teach them or relate to them or something, you know, like you have to think more about what other people want to see rather than what you want to make. But it's a, it's a fine balance, like obviously you have to enjoy it as well. It has to be about things that you're passionate about, you know? So that's my cool. answer. But if you want to know how to go viral in a quick and easy way, I've got a video. I'll pop it up here. My favorite color is pink. My favorite sweet or lollies. Marshmallow. Oh, I love mini marshmallows. But I also love roasted marshmallows, like the normal size ones. But also, I love Cadbury bubbly and the mint one, mint bubbly. And the, they seem to be getting rid of it, I think. Or they're just not stocking it at, is it Woolies? We, we found it at Coles. Yeah. But it wasn't at Woolies anymore. So, Cadbury, please make sure that that's at Woolies. Don't get rid of it, because it's the best one. I also love Tim Tams. What is your ideal breakfast? Pancakes and coffee, made by yours truly. Wait, that means me. Yeah. Yeah, I do make better pancakes than you. <laughs> um, do you live in South Australia, Western Australia, or like Northern Territory, like I live in Queensland? <laughs> Reese is heading off. He's got some work to do. I may Busy return man. for. Cookie. Subway cookies. Mm. Like a news reporter. Oh my god. Literally just falling out. <clears throat> Next question was what is it like, or what was it like getting hypnotized and would you do it again? Well, it definitely wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. I thought you were gonna go into like this full trance and like you don't have any control over anything like you know you see people get hypnotized like on stage and stuff and they like do really weird things and you're like what do you why are you doing that like I don't understand you must not have any control over what you're doing you know but when I did it it was like I had I, I still had control I was just really relaxed that's all. It was kind of like, it was almost like as if you're lucid dreaming or something, you know, like you're just like daydreaming. That's kind of what it was, except it wasn't exactly like I want to dream of a forest and so then I dream of a forest. It was just like she counted me down and it was like, oh, okay, things have now just been shown to me, you know, or I'm hearing a thought in my head. And so I say it, you know, um, it wasn't necessarily like, I'm going to think of this, blah, blah, blah. It was just like words were coming into my mind and, uh, just like pictures of things. And I was like, Oh, I, I have a haircut. Like I have short hair. And so I must be a boy. And then like, you know, I thought about tall trees and I'm like, I think I'm in a forest of some sort. And then I just saw a building over to the side and I was like, oh, that's my house, you know? And just as time went on, things, more and more things got shown to me. So 
it was it was really relaxing. It was fun. Like even though some of the situations were a little more intense and I didn't start crying at one stage, it was still a really relaxing thing. Like I'd totally go back and do it again, just for like being able to relax, but also to learn more about myself and you know just you definitely do learn a lot even if you don't believe what you're seeing or whatever it still causes you to reflect on you know your current issues or circumstances or whatever and it gets you to um start thinking outside the box and being able to help yourself a bit more this burger is just falling apart <laughs> My camera died on me. So the next question was, where is your main income stream from, if that's not too private? Not too private. I work as a social media manager. So I've got three clients. I used to have four, but then COVID happened. Um, but back to three out of this week. So I just manage both their Facebook and Instagram accounts for different companies, and um, also their YouTube accounts for some of them. And also I write, some of the newsletters and stuff, like emails. So yeah, that's just what I do, just a bit of marketing. I was a, I was a marketing student for a while, but I just realized that I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't super passionate about what they were teaching me and then I started getting work in the field anyway and I was like, oh, I'd rather just kind of be working and then also have my spare time to work on my creative projects and stuff like YouTube and like now TikTok and also all my acting and performance stuff. So yeah, I just wanted like a really flexible lifestyle and this job has definitely been able to provide that. That's what I do. And then just on top of that, I have like content creation jobs and stuff that I do just outside of that and um, some little collaborations and stuff like that. So yeah. That's what I do. And then obviously acting gigs as well, but things have kind of been put on hold for the time being. So there's no real income coming from that. But that's okay. It's not forever. It'll come back. Oh my God, how am I supposed to eat the case? Oh, I have the hiccups. Uh oh. <laughs> how am I supposed to eat the quesadillas? I'm full already. I still have... I make flurry, I have quesadillas, I've got cookies and an apple pie. And this, the frozen drink. Help. All right, I didn't even know that Subway did quesadillas. They do it with their wraps. And then they just put like chipotle sauce, um, tomato, onion, cheese, and just some green capsicum. I don't usually like green capsicum, but she put it on first and I didn't really know what was going to be on it. So I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. And actually, they don't usually put tomato on, but I just asked her to, because you can't have a quesadilla without tomato, right? So I'll have a bite. Mmm. That's yummy. Next question was, how's your little puppy? Keep up the hustle, girlfriend. Thanks, girl. Um, the puppy isn't actually mine. I know a lot of people thought that it, that she was mine, but she's Reese's parents' dog. We had her over for a sleepover once, but um, yeah, she's been over a few times. But yeah, if you ever see pictures or videos of, of her, um, Ali is her name, she's a little toy cavoodle. We're usually just at Reese's parents' house. She's doing well though. She's, um, she's pretty long now. She's pretty tall and long. Um, but yeah, she's a bit of a mischief maker, but she's cute. So we allow it. Now the next question was actually about a product that I tried just the other day. Oh, two days ago. It was about the mermaid hair waver. It was the pink 32 millimeter one. I must say it was really cool. Really easy to use and everything. My only downside is that it's heavy. So if you're constantly, you know, got your hand in the air, it will hurt your arm for a while. <laughs> so, but I mean, it goes to 180 degrees and so it doesn't take too long. I think it's just because my hair is so straight that I was like, no, I need to keep it on longer. And then by the end of it, I was like, oh my goodness, I had to take an arm break for a little while. Apart from that, like it works awesome and it's so pretty because it's like a lolly pink. It is so cute. Now I'm going to 
Oh, no. Oh, what do I eat? I like the apple pie. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling, guys. You guys should have seen me in New York when we went to this. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I caught it in the vlogs, but when we went to New York, we went to Applebee's for breakfast, I think like three or four days in a row, because it was the bomb. There was one morning where we had breakfast and every time I could never finish the pancakes and because we'd get like a cookies and cream um, milkshake on the side and it was always filled with ice cream so it was probably a thick shake not a milkshake and then yeah the pancakes were oh they were just so good but I could never finish them and then there was one day where I was really struggling to finish it I think I got like halfway through or something and I remember I was sitting there like this. Reese even got a photo of me and I was sitting there like this, just trying to, you know, digest and just chill out for a second before I kept eating. And the man who was serving us, he brought our bill around and we we're like, oh, one of the thick shakes are missing from the bill. So we were like, that's okay. We know how much it was from the menu. So we'll just um, put the money there and also tip him and everything. Cause he was fantastic. He was so great. And then he came back to collect it and we were like, oh, um, we realized that one of the drinks was missing. So um, we just put the money in there anyway. And he was like, oh, I didn't put it on the bill because I thought you didn't like it. <laughs> and we were like, no, we loved it. Like, we love coming here. It's great. Thank you. Like... And then we left and we were like, oh my god, it must have been because I was sitting there like this, struggling, and he just thought that I didn't like it, and so I didn't eat everything, and so, oh my god, it was so funny. Brucey Boy is back. You guys should follow him on TikTok. Oh my god, this is liquid. Maybe fridge it. Freezer it. Yeah, freezer it. You had your apple pie. <laughs> oh, that's... No. <laughs> Literal liquid. Oh, it's like foamy. Freezer it. <laughs> okay, my card was full of my camera, so it turned it off. So we're here on my phone now. And uh, yeah, we thought we would just wrap this up anyway. So thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this video of us eating and talking. It's kind of gross, actually. But we hope that you were entertained. And... Yeah, make sure you follow Reese on TikTok. What is it? At Reesey.boy13. No, Reeseyboy.13. No. Reeseyboy Reeseyboy I'll pop it down here. And I am. It's worth taking a look. At <laughs> Katrina.west. And also on Instagram at KatrinaJWest. And Reeseyboy13. That's us. Without the dot. Without the dot. Yes, that's us. Thanks for joining us and we are gonna go have a food coma now.